Hey again everybody. So in this video I want to show you how to solve a quadratic equation uh, using the quadratic formula. So one thing I want to note is that uh, any solvable quadratic equation can be solved using the quadratic formula. So what we're going to do is we're going to identify in our a quadratic equation uh, up here, we want to identify the uh, coefficient which we usually call a, the coefficient that we usually want to call b, and the coefficient that we call c. So remember that a quadratic uh, function can be written as, so f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? That's of course standard form. So if you have your quadratic equation written in standard form, you can easily identify a, b, and c. So let's uh, let's just do that quickly. Let me let me just erase what I got here for now. Okay, so we're going to identify a, b, and c here. So in our quadratic equation here, this value is going to be a, right? Uh, now we don't have a coefficient for x. But remember that if it doesn't have a coefficient shown, the coefficient is 1. So this is our b value. So that's b. And our c value is going to be the constant here. So that's c. So now that we have a, b, and c, we have enough information to apply the quadratic formula. So let's start by writing out the quadratic formula. So remember, the quadratic formula goes like this. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and all of that is being divided by 2a. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute our values for a, b, and c into the quadratic formula now. So our b value is 1, so we're going to have negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times our a value, which is 5, times our c value, which is negative 2. And that's all going to be divided by 2 times our a value, which is 5. Okay, so next line, right? We're going to have negative 1 plus or minus the square root of, okay, well, 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 5 times negative 2. So ne negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Negative 20 times negative 2 is, of course, positive 40. Okay? And we're going to be dividing that by 2 times 5, which is 10. Okay, so underneath the square root, that's going to give us negative 1 plus or minus the square root of, right, 1 plus 40 is 41 over 10. Okay, so by the way, um, what we have here is uh, the exact answer to this particular question. Now, I guess we we could write it in a slightly different way if we wanted to uh, for the exact answer, but this is this is the exact form of this particular question because remember, since this does have a radical in it, you can express it in exact form or approximate form. So what I'm going to do now right, is we are going to actually evaluate that to get that as a decimal, which will give us a value in uh, approximate form. So if we do negative 1 plus uh, the square root of 41 divided by 10, that's going to give us uh, a value of 0 0.54. So we're going to get x is equal to 0 0.54. Okay. And if we do negative 1 minus the square root of 41 divided by 10, that's going to give us a value of negative 0 0.74. Okay? So those are the solutions to this particular quadratic equation. And that's how to solve a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula.